have a problem. So for those of you who are new to the channel or didn't notice, because why would you unless you have the deduction skills of Light Yagami, I have used a lot of microphones on this channel. In fact, I've used 14 different kinds. Wow. And I have multiple of a few. So, seven. I have 18, technically. But then I have another one that's also used for something else. So technically, I have nine, but I haven't actually used it on this channel, so it doesn't really count. But anyway, I have a lot of microphones. And some of them I've actually sold. Most of them I've actually sold. However, I still have a lot right now. I'm in this weird position where I have my voice that I use for voice acting, and I have a microphone that fits that amazingly. However, it does not sound all that great for Sebastian. And that's where you come in. I'm going to ask you to leave a comment down below. The only place you really can leave a comment. Telling me which microphone you like for Sebastian. I've gone through the ones that I have and I kind of have an idea of what I like, but I want to know what you think of. It also is good for interaction and maybe you'll hear something, someone who's more, maybe more into Black Butler or something like that. Just different opinions are great. Before we get into that, let's talk microphones for those of you who are aspiring voice actors. There are a bunch of different kinds of microphones that you can use for different purposes. And that's why I have so many. They fill a hole that I have when I'm recording. So I have a problem getting rid of them, but then you spend a lot of money that a lot of people don't have, especially people who are starting out in voice acting, which is why I'm here to help you. So if you're interested in that, stick around instead of skipping. So here's the first microphone that I had when I started off. This is a shotgun microphone. It's mostly meant for outdoor use because it's really good at picking up what's right in front of it. What, what this little end is pointing at. So you can put it a foot away or even farther if you have to and it'll still get a pretty good signal. So why would voice actors use it? Well, if you're in a treated environment and you don't have to worry about putting it away, you can put it three inches away from your mouth it gives you some real nice proximity effect which is where you get a lot of bass in your voice it sounds really good so that's why I have this that and outdoor recording because I am a videographer there's also what I upgraded to is not exactly this microphone the one that I did upgrade to I sold and I'll have links in the description for testing out videos that I've done with microphones that I no longer have this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone a large diaphragm condenser microphone is different from this, which is a small diaphragm, because, well, it has a larger diaphragm, which means that it picks up things more accurately, but it gives more of, like, the reverberations off the wall and stuff like that, which isn't great, which is why you want some treated stuff. You can't see it because it's all dark, but I've got some treatment over here. And then some over uh, over here and a little bit behind me. And this is one that I really like on my voice, the KSM32. Little brother to the Markiplier microphone. I used to have one, and it worked really good on my voice, but it sounded like trash for Sebastian. Another reason why I got rid of that one. It was also my most expensive microphone. Now you have microphones like these. These are dynamic microphones, like the SM7B you might be used to. This is the SM57 with a little pop filter on it. You saw me use it before. These don't require phantom power. I didn't explain what that was. Basically, phantom power is 48 volts of electricity being generated by your preamp to put electricity through the capsule of microphones to make them hotter. These don't need that because they're built differently. They have little magnets. Excuse me. They have little magnets that make enough electricity just by your voice creating wind to power it but they're also really gain hungry, which means you have to crank your preamp. And if you don't have a good one, you'll get a lot of buzz. The only reason, like I said, you would ever have it is because you have a really cheap preamp with really cheap cables and probably a really cheap microphone. So don't skimp out. This was about 99. These are really famous, really famous. Highly recommend if you're starting out and you want to get something, get one of these. That's about what I have. I also have a couple other microphones 
This here's the neat King B2 that I'm testing out. Not sure how I like it, but now you kind of know what it is you would want. So, on to the tests to the microphones that I, that I have. Let's go. This here is the Rode NT1, and this is Sebastian testing it out by saying, yes, my lord. Well, if a butler couldn't test a simple microphone, well, what kind of a butler would he be? And this is Sebastian testing out the KSM-32. I am going to keep saying the same lines that everyone wants. Yes, my lord. Well, if I couldn't test a simple microphone for my young lord, well, what kind of a butler would I be? And this is Sebastian trying out the neat King B-2 saying the same lines as usual. Yes, my lord. Well, if I couldn't test out a simple, neat King B too, well, what kind of a butler would I be? And this is Sebastian testing out a dynamic microphone, the SM57. I'm three inches away from the capsule, and I'm going to say some lines. Yes, my lord. Well, if I couldn't do something as simple as test a bunch of microphones for my young lord, well... What kind of a butler would I be? And this is Sebastian testing out his shotgun microphone. Yes, my lord. Well, if I couldn't do something as simple as this for my young lord, well, what kind of a butler would I be? And just for funsies, here's the Audio Technica AT2035. Yes, my lord. Well, if I couldn't do something as simple as be monotonous and try every single microphone ever, well, what kind of a butler would I be? So, I kind of know what I liked and didn't like at least a little bit, but there's some like fine tuning between really this and this and this that are just a little, just a little different. That's just like, ah, I don't really know what one works. There aren't really many others microphones on the market that really capture what I'm looking for without being super expensive and having to do a whole lot of just EQ. So let me know in the comments, what one did you like the most? Yeah, yeah, you typing? Is that cool? That's cool. Yeah, words are cool. I'll read them. Think I won't? Try and sneak a sneaky message. Bet you I'll read it. Bet you I think you're stupid. Anyway, so hopefully that gives you an idea. If you're an aspiring voice actor or YouTuber and you're looking for a microphone, there are a whole bunch that I tried out, and you can test on my voice. Maybe you have a similar voice to mine, or maybe you don't. But now you kind of know what you could look for with a whole bunch of microphones, because I spent all this money and time, so you didn't have to. And after that terrible disappointment, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What's this here? I forgot the name of it.